Young Buck can't get a break to save his goddamn life. Now he pimping out white girls. Hey, when your music ain't selling, when you're broke, when 50 Cent take your catalog and you've been exposed as a tranny lover, what else can you do? You went from living with your girlfriend and pimping out white girls to support your drug habit or just get by. But hey, Buck, that's you. <laughs> Hey, Marvin Gaye did it. Before Marvin Gaye got killed, he pimped out girls to support his drug habit. A lot of entertainers, when they go broke, they pimp their girlfriends or their fans out just for drugs or whatever struggling reason they going through. Kanye had been exposed and they say he might go to jail for election fraud. But, the thing about that is, he ain't been arrested yet. If Kanye gets arrested, he need to go back to the psych ward to get out of damn going to prison. Kanye ain't gonna last in prison. They're gonna tear his little sweet ass up in jail. Kanye is not a is not a tough guy for real. <laughs> not saying he weak, but he ain't no street guy. If Kanye go to prison, they're gonna tear his ass up and make him a damn woman. They're gonna turn him to the damn woman, the female, boy, girl he always had been. Anyway, Kanye might not go to go to prison. Hell, he got enough money to get to, to, to buy his way out of this situation. And uh, one more thing, uh, Kamala Harris is running for vice president with Joe Biden, a guy who she didn't like and she claimed was a racist. But hey, she don't like black folks either. Do you think Trump just? Won the, the, the re-election? Do you think Trump just got four more years? Well, I, I will say this. He has a better chance of becoming of, of being re-elected. But we might get a strange twist. Biden might, might become president. But there's a 5% chance Biden going to become president. 